10 minutes to show time. We are at the CBS Sports Radio Station in New York City on Hudson Street. This is like Sports Radio Central. This is like Sports Radio Command Center. You have WFAN is here. Ready to go, man? Sean is here. This is Sean, the producer. Thank you, Sean, for having me back. Great to have Vic on CBS Sports Great. Radio. Appreciate. Now, how do my fans, how could they see or hear the show, rather? Go to CBSSportsRadio.com, click the Listen Live button, or we're on 180 markets right now nationwide. Uh, if you don't know the DA show by now, you're missing out. Exactly. And this man means what he says. He don't mess around. We're ready take to go in. on? Let's take you in. Come on. I took Babekins with me. She's never been to a radio show. Neither have some of you people, so I'm giving you the behind the scenes of what it's like to do live radio. Hey, Damon. Hey, what's going on? Kesha D, it's going to be We got Vic back in the studio. Thanks for having me once oh, again. My, God, my pleasure, my pleasure. My fans this love you. This is Thank the man you for right having here. me. This is great. I can't believe we got him back in. I'm fired up. Right here, the man, the myth, the. Wait, where can I put this? With, with uh, both? We're going to set him up. We're going to have you over here. And so if you want to set up the camera. Well, we're both on the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How the hell? Oh, I did. Yes, uh, what I happened? Is that what you did? We are, we are back. <laughs> this is what I did. I think you did it. Am I using that mic? Yeah. But I think you you got to go. Lower? Let's see. It doesn't work unless you want to use this mic. You can use that one to prop How about? <laughs> <laughs> what time do I go on? Uh, no, we got about four minutes here, so you're all right. There we go. How's that? I, I can't like see you. There you go. Yeah, there we go. I'll do it like this. All right, now I'm gonna pull this over over here. Does this go to Hudson Street? I'll do it from Hudson Street. <laughs> Out on the sidewalk. Beautiful. Thank you again for having oh, man, me. Man, my pleasure. Fire do I up. get do I get micro uh, headphones? Yes, we'll go get your headphones. I'll run back and go. We got y'all hooked up. Beautiful. And your beautiful wife is here? Yes. How about this? We got a family affair here? Yes, she's very quiet. I'm the ham in the family. <laughs> This is nice. Could it get any brighter in here? We go on in like uh, five minutes. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, folks, there's nothing on TV tonight anyway, so this is what it's like behind the scenes. I got a rare Friday night off from my shows, so I took Babekins. We went to eat at the Clam. That's the name of the restaurant, the Clam, right on Hudson Street. Excellent food, good service, feasible prices. Hey, Sean. What's up, Vic? Let me set you up here, man. Beautiful. Wow, these are serious. These are nice. Like the fibrillate is clear. Ah! <laughs> Why is this broke? This who's this for Van Gogh? Got it. I got it. Lucy's cracking up right now. There's my Babkins. See my Babkins? We're going to talk Yankees. We're going to have fun. I'll be on for about a half hour. So as long as you, you guys want to tune in, that's up to you. I can't tell you guys what to do. This phone's going to be a problem. I'm balancing on a, on a microphone instead of investing in a tripod. Look at this. This is Johnny Unitas' girdle, dedicated to the CBS Sports Radio. You know, I'm just going to hold it. I'll just hold it. That's all. I'm used to holding it. Do you see my arm? As long as you don't see my arm. I'm doing this on the arm. I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, boy. Lucy's rolling her eyes right now. She's used to this. Babekins is used to this. Look how pretty. Even when she, when she sits... Off in a distance, she's sexy. It's like, it's, like, it's like the Madonna painting all the way in the back. I'll put this on in case things get in case can, things get dangerous here. <laughs> wow, what size head do these athletes have? I can show you one. Wow! A short time ago, Jets quarterback Darrell Revis did indeed turn himself in after being charged with those four felonies. Following that altercation in Pittsburgh last Sunday, Revis charged with two counts of aggravated assault, one count of robbery, one count of conspiracy, aggravated assault, 
He's also charged with a misdemeanor, namely making terroristic threats. Police say he knocked two men unconscious on the street after a confrontation when one of the men videotaped Revis on his cell phone. Meanwhile, Patriots receiver Michael Floyd is behind bars, starting a 24-day jail sentence in Arizona. That after pleading guilty to DUI, Floyd arrested last December when Scottsdale police found him asleep behind the wheel of his running SUV. Former NFL running back Trent Richardson reportedly arrested in Alabama, charged with third-degree domestic violence. Richardson said to have been released today on bond. The ex-Alabama star taken third overall, you recall, in the 2012 draft by the Browns, but has not appeared in an NFL game since 2014. Well, the Patriots weren't the only winners on Super Bowl Sunday. The NFL says Lady Gaga's halftime performance is now the most watched musical act in history, drawing 118 million viewers across all platforms. Carl Anthony Towns and Christophs Porzingis are among the young stars featured in tonight's Rising Stars Challenge, that part of NBA All-Star Weekend in New Orleans, that game tipping off at 9 Eastern. Spring training, one of the Yankees' many top young prospects, first baseman Tyler Austin, has a broken foot after fouling a ball off it. Austin expected to now miss six weeks. An abbreviated schedule, to say the least, elsewhere tonight. NHL, they're after one. Penguins and Blue Jackets, no score. Meanwhile, the first, no score between the Avalanche and the Hurricanes. Oh, 140 for me, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was going 210 for some reason. Okay. Permission granted. Welcome inside a Friday night edition of the DA Show, everybody, here on CBS Sports Radio. We come to you live from the O'Reilly Auto Parts studios. O'Reilly, better parts, better prices every day. I am so excited because tonight we have the conquering hero, the triumphant return, comedian, funny man, native New Yorker, and friend of the DA. Vic DiBattetto joining us here on the show. Thank Vic, you. How are you? Thank you for having me back, Damon. I appreciate it. My man. It's, it's appreciated when somebody says my last name right because I'm sure you've had trouble with your last oh, name. Boy. The Italian last names will get almost everybody into trouble, and mine's a Mendelara, and so that's why basically they said, you know what, you should just go by your initials because a Mendelara is too long. It's pure laziness. Just sit down and read what it says. That's what I all. say. It's phonetic. Exactly. You know? It's phonetic. It's 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 phonetic. It's it's natural. It's it's felicious. It's felicious. Yes. It's felicious. This is great because you've joined us here before, but this time you brought your wife into the studio. Yes, that's the love of my life. I we love went out. It. We went out to dinner. We made a we, we made a New York City night out of it. We nice. went out to eat, and we're coming here because she's never been to radio. My Lucy lived a very sheltered life until she met me, and then so, it just blew up. Yes, she's <laughs> she's ecstatic that she's. In a radio studio lot. She's never done this before. This and is I, awesome. I wanted to see the other side of my career. Which is? Which is a radio and I, I do it all. I, I, I'm the social, I'm the prince of all social media. I, don't I know. know. Look, look at all these emojis. People love you and us. Look at this. I love it because right now Vic is live streaming this on his Facebook Live. So why don't you tell our listeners where they can check that out? That's on your Facebook. Uh, right? On your radio. Go to your radio. On your radio? I'm put on CBS. <laughs> no, no. Go to my fan page. Oh, you, they, they're watching it now. Yeah, on Facebook, right? On Facebook. Okay. Very Facebook good. Live, yes. Okay, there you go. So it's amazing because the last time we had you in, you said originally you didn't do this technology stuff, and then you kind of had to embrace it, and now you're awesome at it. Well, bread and milk put me on the map. I almost deleted it. It was a 26-second uh, video that went viral. Yeah. Total stupidity got me more recognition than 33 years of stand-up. Yeah. But I said, hey, I said, this is cool. I could make money from this. I could get a crowd from this. And I asked my son to help me out, and I got the song and dance, and he didn't help me out. So I learned how to do it myself. Yeah. Fast forward, I got a huge following. I'm selling out clubs, awesome. and you're having me back. If you would have told me, th when I was picking up garbage in this city 30 years ago, and you would have told me I'd be doing a live radio show, I'd never believe you. This is surreal. 
and I'm happy. I'm thankful. Thank you. Well, I love you because I think it's just the most amazing story that the fact is that you were driving a garbage truck and doing stand-up and doing the overnights and listening to radio, and then fast forward and you're doing comedy and you're appreciative of this moment, and I just think that that story is amazing for everybody. It's you know? a great story, and, it, and you know, and, and the way people think, you know, I say what the working man is saying, it's thinking, because people think the American dream is no more, and it's not true. You got to just hang in there, persevere. You're talking to a garbage man. I drove a school bus, a dump truck. Look where I am. And you got to forge ahead. And you're doing movies with Kevin James. Well, that was two years ago. Hopefully it'll be a Paul Blart part three. He'll ask me back. But you know what? If he doesn't, he put me in a movie. And for that, I'm thankful. No, no doubt about it. Let's play for our audience the audio of what made Vic go viral. And this really put him on the map, as he was saying. Which is great because anybody that has lived through weatherman hysteria in the Northeast, anywhere in the northern climates, know that they just, they freak you out that you've got to get the bread and you've got to get the it milk. It struck a nerve and it comes back every winter like Christmas carols. Yeah. It's currently up to just under 16 million views. 16 million it's the video that keeps on giving. It's the Jason of videos. It keeps coming back. <laughs> it keeps coming back. I love it. Well, you're a huge Yankee fan. So the yes. last time we had you on the show... I guess it was before last spring training, and you were trying to kind of figure out, okay, what happens now because Jeter's retired and how old is this team? So after last year, missing the playoffs, how do you feel about this year's Yankees team? All right. It took me a while to get over my depression when, when Jeter retired. Yeah. Look, let's face it. Yankee fans are spoiled, but that's how you're brought up if you're a Yankee fan. you got to win. This year, this is how I feel. I'm on the fence with this team. Okay. I think we either come in, we're going to come in last place or we're going to win the World Series. How's that? Okay, that's a pretty big scope there. For I you. know. I mean, can, but can look we at narrow the, it down a little bit? Uh, we will. We're gonna, here's <laughs> what we're going to do. You have the veterans, CC, who, look, I'm not a big CC fan. I, look, don't get me wrong. Maybe he's got another good year. It all depends on injuries. I just heard now that Austin yeah. fell the pitch off of his he, – yeah. they're getting injured now in spring training. It's insane. What's they next? They have playing games yet. Are they going to get injured over the winter? They're separating frozen hamburgers and it falls on their femur? These guys are made of glass. But I got, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think this young team, I, look, between, first of all, Sanchez, he's, he's got he's to prove it. Look, he had, look, two months. He had that two months where he was phenomenal. Unbelievable. He almost won the rookie of the year. Yeah, yeah. Phenomenal. Will he, now we got to see if it was a fluke. I want to see him seeing is believing. I want to see what he does. I want to see if Ellsbury can play like he did with the Red Sox. There's a lot of question marks. I want to see if Judge doesn't strike out as much. I would love to see him in right field. Plus, he's from Jersey, so I'm a little biased. Uh, who's the other guy they got? Matt Holliday. I hope he plays like Matt Holliday. You, when the Yankees get stars, they become bums. Hopefully, that'll turn around this year. <laughs> Sanchez, I mean, up the middle, we're fine. D.D., uh, uh, Castro, third base, I don't know. I, I'm Headley, the guy, I look at him, I, I see Bobby Flay about to cook something on third base. I think Torres, I love Torres. I love Gardner, he's such a hustler. Uh, Chapman, he, he's, uh, you know, I look at the Mets pitching staff, my God. What I would... I would kill for that. I would, I'd rather have long hair than crooked hats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but Pineda, he's unstable. But, but, but he's like Odell. If, he, if these guys would focus and play to their potential, I think we got a good shot. And Girardi, I love the man, but he's got to stop overmanaging. Stop with the left-right. Stop with the pitch count. I can't take it anymore. Just play ball. Don't fix what's not broke. We got a damn good chance. I really think we got a good chance. Vic DiPotato joins us here in studio. What do you think about A-Rod coming back as an instructor now? I think it's good. Yeah. You know, look, look, say what you want about the steroids. The guy, 
to me, he's a Hall of Famer. He's got the numbers. Really? Okay. I believe. So then you got to put and, all the steroid guys in. Right? Yes, I do. Right. Is, is taking steroids going to? Are you going to hit the ball another twenty-five feet if you're taking steroids? Maybe. Does it affect the eye? I bat coordination. coordination. Probably not. The no. same thing with the deflated football. Yeah. Come on, give the Patriots a break. They're a dynasty. Brady is great. A New Yorker saying, "Give I the said Patriots it. a break." That's, that's right. That's pretty fair. Get over it, Yankee fans and and Giant fans. Give credit where it's due. Why do people knock success? That's why they hate the Yankees. That's why they hate the Pats. That's why I have haters. People hate seeing me ride the ladder. It's it's human nature. Instead of embracing success, why can't people? Instead of knocking success, why can't people embrace success? The Yankees were spoiled, but I want to see 28 win. I want to see 28 World Series. But Girardi's got to stop. He's got to put the book down. Use his dig up Billy Martin. Dig up Billy Martin. Oh, you want Billy? Back? Yes, I'll go right now with you. Want you. Billy Ball? Uh, definitely. Okay. Small ball. Small ball. Bunt the ball. If the if the shift is to the one side of the field, bunt the ball down the damn third baseline. Do something. Let's get something going here. We could do it. Gardner has the speed. We got the power. Straight up and down this lineup. I think we're stable. It all depends on injuries. Injuries, injuries. Right now, I got 17 stitches in my... But I came in. I drove a garbage truck with broken bones and fevers. But I picked up the garbage. You got to play. You got to play with the... Stop. These guys... Look, Teixeira, we can't replace his glove at first base. I think Bird is great if he doesn't get injured. But if not, Chris Carter. I love that. Chris Carter is a great pickup. Big bat, yeah. But third base scares me, and the starting pitching scares me. What's amazing is that you came in here and you said you were going to be calm. <laughs> you know, you know what it is? Down. Damon, I try. <laughs> I don't know if, 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 if this is 33 years of bottled up anger, maybe because I'm Italian, maybe because it's the Friday night, I have no show, but it, it's just, I want the Yankees to win so bad. I, I, I pee pinstripes. My father took my first game, the original Yankees, that's another story. You've got to have me in here. Oh, Why they God. knocked down the cathedral. Is that Fenway still going? Wrigley still going? You know, Hal and Hank, they always talk about tradition and history, yet they knocked down the cathedral, you morons, if you're listening now. How do you knock down? To put playgrounds now in center field? You're going to take out 2,000 seats? Come on, kids. Let's go to the ball game. You go to the merry-go-round. I'll be behind home plate talking on my cell phone. It's a whole different. The world is upside down, Damon. The world. Sports is upside down. Everything's upside down. Yeah, I can't wait to see the, the, the jungle gym in center field over at Yankee Stadium. Right? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't go. I watch it on breast TV. Breastfeeding stations. Breastfeeding stations. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. That's exciting. They're going to have uh, the breast with, with beer and, and tap and, and draft. It's going <laughs> to dark and then you got the, the light beer. Yeah, you know, it's what? just crazy. Just play ball. Let's get back. Let's get back. Make baseball great again. You know what I'm saying? Do you it's, think the baseball needs more offense? Because some are saying, you know, it's too slow. There's too many strikes. They do got to speed it up. There's yeah. too much time in between. And that's, that's another thing with the left righty situation. Look. I'm not a physicist. I'm not into that whole the angle. If you got to bring in the righty, come on, just throw the ball. It's just they got to slow it down. It's four four hour, especially when the Yankees play the Red Sox. Oh Those are four hour games. Yeah, four it's and insane. Half. Yeah, you know I'm 53. I I got to be in bed by 9:30. I I go against my bowel movement. If I'm not in bed by nine o'clock and my second bowel movement, I'm out of there. I'll read I'll read the I'll read the box scores the next day. <laughs> Mraz, as a Yankee fan yourself, do you have the same agita that, that Vic does for this season? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's t you know what? We're rebuilding. But this is, we're going through a rebuilding process. I think next year is our year. This, honestly, I think we're lucky third place this year. Red Sox are going to be tough. Isn't it so New York that Charles Oakley got kicked out of Madison Square Garden? I mean, somebody gets kicked out of an event basically every single night. Here. Wasn't right. The man's a, a Nick legend. How do you, that's, that's like telling Lou Gehrig he can't come to Yankee Stadium. Yeah, that's not, but hey, look, in defense of the Knicks and the, the Madison Square Garden security, Oakley, he got a little out of hand. He, a little, he, he insulted them a little bit. He got a little out of hand. He shouldn't have done what he did. But they shouldn't have, have, have banned him. That was wrong. Have you ever had anybody kicked out of your shows? Of uh, a couple of times. Yeah. You know, uh, I started. Mouthy? No, I started at Pips in Brooklyn. Yeah. 
that's where the mobsters met the lobsters. And <laughs> those those were tough crowds. Yeah. But I'm I'm too fast, as you can see. I'm too. I don't give hecklers a chance. But no, nobody's ever get thrown out of my my show unless you know I throw them out myself. What do you do to a heckler? You just gotta take care of them. You can't let them. Like I said, it's very rare to happen. But drunk women are the worst. Oh. Okay. No matter what you come back with to a drunk girl, it's it's you can't win. Yeah. That's when you, you give the look to security. And like in The Godfather, if you can't take of a, take care of her, Mike, I have to. And they lift her up and take her out. But hecklers really don't stand a chance because I'm too fast and I don't really let them. I don't, I don't mess with the crowd. You don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. I'm not, I'm not that Don Rickles type. I don't like picking on people. That's amazing. Wow, you've got some great stories. When we come back, we'll play 10 questions with comedian Vic DiBattetto here in studio with us, joining us here on CBS Sports Radio. DA with you here on CBS Sports Radio and listening live at CBSSportsRadio.com. All right. Am I going awesome. too over the top? No. This is great. This is why we have you in here. I'm going to try to get it done as well so that we have... Uh... The, We're uh, taking a break now, folks. We're on a commercial break. Thank you for still sticking uh, with us. Is, is Damon great at his craft or what? This guy good? You make it so easy. So, so easy. I'm going to try to get a streaming on our side, too. Yeah, I mean... You ever get an annoying blackhead before a date? <laughs> <laughs> what will you do? What will you do? For you millennials, Google Carl Malden. <laughs> so how was dinner? Dinner was amazing. Yeah? I highly recommend the, the clam. I thought of the good? family guy when I saw the name. Remember the bearded clam? <laughs> yeah, yeah, This yeah. was just the clam. This was the bald clam. Excellent. Let's see, is that your Facebook profile, the middle one? No. no, it looks like a, a white square with my name in it. How you guys doing, all right? We're almost done. Hang in there. Hang in there. Got to beat the traffic going back to Jersey. I'm going <laughs> to go, gonna go through Maine, down 95, minutes, save 23 minutes. Yeah, how is the, uh, the traffic right now? From Jersey yeah. to the tunnel, beautiful. Okay. Once we got out of the tunnel, forget it. Yeah, but that'll dissipate now. That it, yeah. it was insane. We were up the other yeah. side of UPS and it took oh. us like yeah. 20 minutes to get around the block. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now uh, Oakley is saying he doesn't want to come back. Did I exactly. read right? Yeah, exactly. You hear about Gossage, what he said? No, what he said? Somebody compared him to Mariano Rivera and he took that as an insult. What? How do you get insulted by being compared to the greatest Seriously. reliever ever? They're all nuts. They're all nuts. Just shut up. You got the world by the balls. Just shut up. Oh, you're at Vic Comedy. Okay. There you go. Got it. Well, look, this is so great. You're just live right now, hanging out. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Wow. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm like Son of Sam. I have voices in my head. <laughs> you having fun, Babkins? Yeah, it's just an all-star game. For, it's like a celebrity all-star game. Yeah, it's just a celebrity all-star game. Yeah, you gotta you gotta balance well up there. That's good. All right, now we have dueling live streams as the man, the myth, the legend, Vic, Vic DiBattetto joins us here in studio. He's been all over the place, and, uh, and now he joins us in studio. This is his third time on the show. Once we did it by phone, 
And then once we did it here at studio, and then this is the next time around, and now he's just showing all of his Facebook Live fans what uh, what's going on here at the studio. So it's awesome. So we're going to play 10 questions with Vic here. Just <laughs> taking everything from Gottlieb's set and showing his crew. It's fantastic. What's great is that Vic said when he came in here, I'm talking to my audience now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So we were just saying. Dueling, dueling life feeds. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys can follow our page. Yes. What at is? The DA Show. So. <laughs> yeah, and follow the camera on the counter. And then Vix is at Vic Comedy. Yes. On Facebook. Vic Comedy. Did you get so. that? Say it one more time, Damon. The DA Show. The DA Show. Yeah. Easy enough. So, uh, so yeah, what's great is that Vic's like, oh, I just want to be cool and calm tonight. Like, when I come in here, no big deal. And then he, like, melted down over the Yankees. <laughs> Uh, you know, when you have a passion for something, because uh, I'm very quiet at home. Yeah, I'm sure. There we go. Yeah, yeah. His wife is in studio laughing. Yeah, she's so she's, quiet. she's gonna give me hell when I when I get home. Can't you talk? Why do you have to yell? Oh, I'm just gonna hold this. Remind you, full episodes of the DA show available on iTunes, and we are always streaming. Just simply download the CBS Sports app for one touch streaming of the entire radio network and the DA show on a nightly basis. We're with you each and every evening, 6 until 10 Eastern time, here on CBS Sports Radio. And comedian, funny man, and a good friend of ours, Vic DiBattetto, joins us here in studio once again, the triumphant return, which we love. Now, you were just saying that you started off playing Pips in Brooklyn yes. when you were coming up as a comedian that's doing stand-up. Yes. And that's where the mobsters would hang out. That's where the mobsters met the lobsters, because it was right by Sheepshead Bay. Yeah. And that was the only club in the country, if you sucked, the owner would heckle you. <laughs> Ray Garvey, may he rest in peace. So how tough was a, an audience of mafia members? Well, it wasn't only monthly members. It was uh, ex-cons and uh, right, yeah. muggers and uh, <laughs> right. rapists. And, uh, you know, that, that's why I have the work ethic. It, cause it toughens you. You know, like they say, if you can't make it in, this, in New York, you, if you can make it anywhere if you can make it here. But being in Brooklyn, that was the comedy boot camp. You had to be on your toes. If you sucked, they, they would let you know you sucked. And you said that you were doing stand-up as you drove the garbage truck, right? One night. You would come yes. out of your set and then go do the garbage rounds. Well, that's when I... See, the big thing when you started at Pips in Brooklyn was to either go to Long Island or to go to New York City. And the first club I did was Dangerfields. And okay. I drove a garbage truck for a private sanitation company. Yeah. And my route was in New York City. So one night, I drove the truck to Dangerfields, parked it outside, went on stage, did my act. Back in the truck to finish the route. That's outrageous. I picked up the, the, the owner's garbage just to get stage time. <laughs> that's how it started. How amazing. Come on, that's my couch story. You kidding me? That's amazing. You think Seinfeld ever had to go through that? <laughs> Please. Yeah. Seinfeld's never picking up any trash. Jay Leno was never driving a garbage truck. Let me tell you something. Like you said when I first came here, the story, you know, I'm the hardest. I don't mean to brag about myself. But it's the best story. You know, it says a lot about you. When I used to do the Borgata in Atlantic City, I was booked there for seven nights. That's when I drove the school bus. I would go from Atlantic City back to my home in Jersey, get three hours sleep, go to Staten Island to do the, the, the run for the kids, come home in between, back and forth, the Outer Bridge twice a day, Amazing. back at night, do the comedy, seven nights, back and forth. By Sunday, Lucy's like, what are you such a grouch for? I'm like, are you kidding me? I can barely drive a Camry through the city, let alone a garbage truck on a daily basis dealing with the stuff that you dealt with doing two jobs. I drove a cement truck, Lower Manhattan. I love that story. You too. see those I streets? You see those streets? Imagine maneuvering a cement truck with the chute swinging out and cement flying all over the place. You have definitely killed a few delivery boys. Oh, and, and pedestrians. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's time for 10 questions with Vic Diva. I love 10 questions. I'm going to do 10 questions. All right, 
we started up with number one. What's the better post-game aggravation video? Because you often post on Facebook aggravation videos after losses. After a Yankees loss or after a Giants loss? The best? You, you mean, mean for my collection? Yeah. What's better for your, your angry post-game videos? When I do the Yankee locker room rants. Yeah. That's right. That's I amazing. got it right? Yeah, that's an amazing All right. Thing. Yeah, your Yankee post-game rants are just By amazing. the way, I did one, and Michael K personally tweeted me. Is that right? He says, dude, this video, I, I forgot which one, ma literally made me pee in my pants. <laughs> I'm like, Mike, why don't you have me on center stage? He never got back to me. That's all right. It's all right, Mike. I'm going to meet you one day in the hallways. Number two, don't take him to Pips in Brooklyn, man. Number two, most disgusting thing to clean off of a school bus. Most disgusting thing to clean off of a school bus. A little kid's vomit that, yes. has, that has filet mignon in it. Meanwhile, the night before, I had peas and macaroni. You actually saw a kid vomit with filet mignon in it? In 101 degrees on a bus. Oh. Because the parents, they don't care. They send the kids to school sick. So they figure, let the, let the bus driver worry about it. It's all right. I got it. I'll clean your kid's vomit. I got it. The donkey. The donkey of comedy right here. Number three, true or false, you wait by the phone every day hoping to get a call that there's Mall Cop 3 being made. But that's false. Correct. We knew that you did not do that. Wow. You're hoping, but... Yeah, like I said before, you know, Kevin James put me in a movie. How can I be mad at the guy? You know, I'm thankful. It was a great experience. I'm getting recognized, and, it, and I get a nice residual every uh, couple of months. Not bad. Life is good. Life is good. Number four, what's the best gift... You have ever received for a Valentine's Day, which is, of course, a Valentine's Day the other day. A, a Dear John letter. <laughs> you got a dear Am I right? I don't know if that's true, yes. Yeah, I did a vignette about that. <laughs> well, what did you have? We were looking for anything. Oh, no. <laughs> no, actually, actually, it was a great, uh, it, it's too long of a story. Let's continue. Okay. It was a great night. That's all I got to say. Number five. For YouTube click purposes, true or false, you root for winter snowstorms. Every year. Yes, yeah. You kidding me? Of course. That's white gold. That's white gold. Uh, number six, what's the worst type of garbage to pick up? Wow. Uh, I would say the, the in Chinatown, the bags in Chinatown. Wow, we were looking for that. Yes, we were looking for Are Chinese. Are you serious? We were looking for Chinese food. I had to stop on Canal Street. One day, the, when, when you send the, the blade around in the hopper, the bag exploded. It was in the summertime. Maggots oh. exploded. Oh. I never told you that. This is before we, I met you. Ma I was covered from head to toe with maggots. Oh. oh, yeah. Because when you walk down Canal Street in the middle of the summer at night, and they put that garbage out for like a day and a half. It's horrible. Oh, my God. It, it smells, I don't, I don't even want to say what it smells like, because I'll, I'll get... I'll get bleeped. We were looking it's bad. for Chinese food. Yes. yes. No, <laughs> number seven, what's the last app you downloaded? Wow. The last app I downloaded. We know that you're not a big app guy. Oh, man. We stumped you. Yeah, you got me on that one. That's the time. That's what is it? Time what's, limit. What's the answer? We were looking for you've never downloaded an app. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I was right, because yeah. I didn't answer. Because <laughs> I don't know how. I can't take technology. And God forbid you ask your kids to help you, you, you get the song and dance. <laughs> Number eight, would the Yankees be better off this year if George Costanza was in the front office? Absolutely. That's the correct answer. Absolutely. Yeah. And bring back the voice of Steinbrenner. <laughs> uh, that was Larry David. Yeah, and why'd they trade Jay Buhner? Jay <laughs> Buhner? Remember him? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Number nine, how many Yankee Stadium pretzels could you eat during one nine-inning game? Uh, one, but then I would need a loan to pay back how much I... We were looking for three. Three. Well, they're pretty big. They but are just, big. Just the price would get me sick. That's true. That's like six to a pretzel. disgusting what's going on. And you can't even smuggle stuff in and they, they check you like you're going to the airport yeah, now. Yeah, you know, when I go over to Mets games at City Field, they let you bring in, like, yeah. a duffel bag worth of sandwiches. Yeah. Yankee Stadium, you get patted down. Yeah, meanwhile, there's a guy behind me on a camel with a rocket launcher right through. No problem. It's all right, I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my bologna sandwich. Let the guy with the camel and the rocket launcher go through. 
Let them go in the, in the playgrounds and, and entertain the kids. Number 10, Vic. <laughs> if you saw Derek Jeter and his wife, true or false, you'd be more physically attracted to Derek Jeter. Absolutely. That's the correct answer. Yeah, we were looking for that. I would, th th that's like the only guy with class in sport. Him, Michael Jordan, there's very few guys that have class anymore. You never hear from him. You never have any problems about never him. Never a problem. He keeps Derek. a low profile, and he's a good guy, and he he's deserves all the accolades he's getting. Vic DiBattetto, can you please tell our audience where they can catch you, where they can see your stuff? Wow. We love you. You know what? I'm all over the place. Go to my website, VicDiBattetto.net. But being that we're in New York City, I'm headlining the Gotham Comedy Club right here in Chelsea. Oh, awesome. Uh, October? No, May. Right before yeah. Mother's Day? Okay. May or June? No, it's in May. That's before you go to Italy, right? It's uh, May... It's in May. It's in May. Just go to Gotham Comedy Club and you'll see when I'm there. Vic, we love you. You're the best. Damon, thank you. Thank you so much for following us. On Thanks for having Let's Facebook have my fans say goodnight yeah, to you your go. fans. There you go. We just doubled it up right there. There you go. Thank we you, Damon. You. The best. I appreciate Vic it. Check him out. Good man on right Facebook. here. Facebook, that is at Vic Comedy for us at The DA Show. Thank you, everybody, for listening and watching. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do this again. I guess what we'll say is... When the Yankees are in the playoffs, I'll be here. I was going to say, if the Yankees finish in last or they're in the World Series, yes. then we'll have you back. Okay? Absolutely. I will be here for moral support for my Yankee fans. <laughs> and thank you to your beautiful wife for dropping by. This is awesome. This is so Yes, cool. it was. Okay. You know what's good about you? You let me do my thing, you know? Well, I do so many shows, but the guy just doesn't let me talk. But you let me shine. Thank you. That is why you are here, because that's all you do is shine. We love it. We Thank you. It. We love I'm it. We love shining it. in these lights, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, these are hot lights. Hot lights. When we come back, we've got sound check. Your best audio of the day. DA, CBS.